How's it going, fellow Samoros? And this is another episode of Borderlands 3. And in today's episode, we're going to continue doing side quests in this location since last episode we found memes, we killed some old men, we delivered burgers, and did some other stuff. I don't remember what. By the way, there's like a giant Roland statue over there. Just shot a barrel at it. That's what you get, Roland, for being a stupid adder. Or at least a boring one, and not interesting. So. In today's episode, we're still in this location, even though I didn't thought I would be. Because the B team comes back in this place, and they have quite a lot of side quests for me. So I'm gonna take care of those. And next episode, we're gonna go to Splinterlands, or even better, we're gonna go to Splinterlands this episode, and continue going through it next time. And see how it goes, I guess. So there's like two side quests, I think, around here. Let me see, this is, this is Tina over here. She asked me for help last episode and I just slacked off. What's up, Tina? Hey, quick! Brick's in trouble! Brick's in trouble? Boy, Brick -Brack is stuck down there holding this door closed because the COB been sneaking up on Boomtown out of that tunnel. Like, hundreds of them. Asshole. What's this door? I want to get in. I think this was meant to be here, actually, now I think about it. See, I butt slammed the bomb. <laughs> you get stuck? You know, you were supposed to be an explosive expert. You don't get bombs stuck in dumb places. Gotta have to do this the hard way. Shorty, you're gonna have to scurry on down into the tunnel and uh, shoot her till she boobs, okay? Doesn't that mean we're gonna have to open up the tunnel? It's full of COV! I know what I'm yeah, it can't be that it. bad. Besides, we can waste a few COV. There's no problem. We got this. Woo! Seems to have a party inside. Open up and wanna get in. You're not even holding it. Alright. Unless you're a fucking Here wizard. It comes. Three, it's got fucking vault. Two, like a followed one. Oh man, an army! Like, what, five of them? I got they're in such a small place, so every every shot hits. Okay, sorry, there was seven of them. I miscounted. Oh, never mind. Did the color of my thing that I have in my hand changed? Guys, the base has been under attack while you're messing around with that tunnel. Thought I could hold them off, but they're gaining ground. Get back here! Come on, Damn it. Hunter. I didn't thought of that. Time to save Boomtown. Are we running there or are we like actually driving? I thought we were calling it the fortress. What's up with butt? We're calling it Boomtown because I said so. And because I already made it. I don't see why you get to just... She gets to decide. Like, how did you not notice a Boomtown sign? <laughs> you two are so cute when you fight. Now let's go save Boomtown. Let me fight him off, old hunter. I know we're like three people living here. Which one I deploy my claw my, and then try to deploy my drone immediately? It would be a little faster because for a... I didn't even deploy it. I thought I did. It fooled me, it fooled me to thinking that I was good if that wasn't. Oh shit. Oh never mind, I gotta help from every side. There's like three people helping me out. And a drone. That should be the last of them. Good looking out, Vault Hunter. Fortress is secure for now. Boomtown. Boomtown! Fortress. Team Fortress. What's up, Tina? Another what you want? successful mission, thanks to my magnificotacular bombing prowess. You're welcome, everybody. We smashed them good, Vault Hunter. And took back Boom Town. I think, like, yeah. next game, if it happened, like, five years after this one, Tina's just gonna be really old. Really old. Well, how old is she? 
A twenty. I thought we were like doing a thing there, man. Yeah, Morty, we work. Only I can say, hell yeah. Ah, we're just kidding. Yeah, well, shoot. Right, Birdman. Boo boo chuckadoo. That's his nickname, right? Got a dead eye decal. Which I'm gonna use. Here we go. I hope this one has a shield. I don't think it will. Hyperion? No, they don't. Hyperion has the one with shields. And I really like them. But I don't know. That's a cool looking shotgun. It's a really default looking shotgun. Well, it's nice to check for guns, but never seems to get anything good. So we got two missions. I thought we had more. If you can find me. They're very I don't know. Stabilize. Stabilize that's not a fucking right way to put it. Alright, you ready for this girl? Wait, right, cause I crouched by accident. Alright, you ready for this girl? Yeah, I'm in. Okay, so I needed someone totally to watch ready. My Don't need to ask me twice. Boy, Enrique the fourth. And I thought I could trust Enrique. my with my sexy exy Shiga, but now she won't give him back. But that's okay. I think she's just having some, you know, some sad times right now. Because, you know, I broke up with her. Shiva? But now that's a fucking she's Mortal Kombat Harry. Like a cuddle hostage. So here, take these happy little heart decorations and uh, we're gonna go get my skirt back. I can actually find Mordecai's room. The thing about his room, didn't Mordecai quit drinking? Why is there so much alcohol? Jeez, why is my fucking controller like fucking up? Also, my theory of Lilith hooking up with Mordecai was false. You know, these guys don't even have a reunion with Lilith. I just fucking realized that. What's up, Mordecai? What do you want? Favor to ask. Hey, Vault Hunter, you mind coming to a birthday party with me? Oh, with you? With you anything, Mordecai? Her shit over Vault Holy Hunter. shit, about so I figure you and me ridiculous. showing up will blow her friggin' little mind. <laughs> Grab some of those flowers that grew up on the mesa on the way to meet me at the party. Wow, that's a amazing As side quest. Jack, I've been thinking about the Pirates and Raiders and all the things like us. I mean, we're sort of the only thing keeping this planet together, you know? You're a symbol. More than anything. That's a vault hunter, just a guy with a gun. So what am I doing? Oh, I'm taking decorations. I wasn't supposed to leave the place. The quest didn't get marked. And also I thought a brick had a quest for me too. But he apparently okay, didn't. Great. Now get you over to Casa de Shiga. And then we're hmm. gonna brighten her day. Okay, let's do Good this form. one first, I guess. No, not, not, not like with a bomb. I'm trying to solve this one with smiles for a change, you know? Character growth, bitch! Character growth? Nah, you're still the thing. Yo, reals, I, Except I every time you kind of payback. break up and become sad. I remember the first Enrique and Mr. Tor campaign of Carnage DLC where we had a side quest. <gasps> where we had to. Like everyone is. Man, I know something was well, that's the thing I always found weird about this. Crap. How okay, did all, all the bandits on? just say that so I guess, I guess it's okay to just go with this? Okay. Also, why is my gun like glowing? Oh, my gun has like a long barrel. <laughs> now I actually get it. I know what it does. It's basically. I guess Anish now does what Hyperion did in Borderlands 2. Well, Borderlands 2, Hyperion gimmick, wasn't shields when you crouch, but it was the first <laughs> shot took pretty, part of your... Anyway, it, the Borderlands 2, Hyperion shields, when you shot the first shot, they would consume some of your armor. Of your capacity in exchange for more damage, and I believe Anish now does that. I don't remember what Anish did in Borderlands 2. I think it was an adaptive shield where 
uh, when you get shot by a fire weapon, then you will adapt to a fire resistance. Which of course didn't work that well, in my opinion. Why did we put those around? This looks like a fucking bomb, Tina. Are you sure I'm not lost, placing Alfie. explosives around? I am in the sacrificing mood and take your stupid arts with you. Tina said you're feeling sad. You sad? Need to talk about it? All right, sacrifice <laughs> it is. Sick em, hounds. Well, I guess she doesn't want to talk about it. Ooh, that's a nasty explosion. That's actually true. <laughs> So those were explosives. Why is open grenades? Should I arm this? I got a melee dose. Oh, blow up with rainbows. I thought I got barely any time to actually buck away from that explosion. Actually, that would be cool. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. Alright, cages for Enrique. That's one of she Enrique. Gets evil skag. Kill it. I don't see an evil skag. Also, evil is very, you know, subjective. The skag is just simply following orders of its owner. Do we need to be evil? What if your dog attacked someone because it tried to beat you up? Doesn't mean the dog is evil because it attacked someone. Oh, I found a Rika. He's an electric one. Oh, he's like a horn in his back. Can I ride him? Look, I'm riding him. I'm oh, a skag rider now. Standing through the fucking cross to the barrel. I have some aversion to barrels. But I'm not gonna hurt you, little one. He is not a bad boy. Not a bad boy. He's the best boy. Bad boys, the bad boys. What about the bad new bad boys movie? Boy. I seen the trailer, but she that's all about all I seen. All right, that's it. Think it's gonna be good. I never you been a fan of bad boys that much. Oh, there she is. I can kill you too. And she's dead. She didn't even finish her line. Who makes Enrique better than any of the other skags? Where's the Kino? See, when the game was announced, I thought the Kino was the skags Flack was hanging out with. But it seems like the skag that Flack is hanging out with is not at all any of the returning skags. Seems like. Is he just gonna teleport through a tunnel? Seems like it. Well, it seems to be a new character. It's Mr. Chu. Oh, I thought it was Dukino from Borderlands 2. And I guess I can read that of him, so if you wanted to be Dukino, you can do it. What well, makes me curious about DLC to this game? Like, what other characters could return in this game? I want a lot of characters to come back. Like Axton, I really want Axton to come back. He could have some really cool dialogue when he's not a playable character. So he can actually express his personality and more than just simple battle cries. He's not a doggy, he's a skaggy. That's a cute skaggy. I did it, I found it. Turn on Tomodachi, what the fuck? Anyway, here's your reward. Now that was her ex-girlfriend, <laughs> I think. Who's the cutest skaggy butthead? Is it you? Is it you? Yes, it is you, Enrique. My snuggle, my tiny paws. I miss you so much. 
I was saying in Mr. Torg's Campaign of Carnage DLC, we actually met the first Enrique. And we killed him. Actually, you didn't have to kill him, but I did. Where am I going for these flowers? Can I not have her dialogue, please? Yeah, like where? Just Open door. You're actually gonna fight a psychiatrist on this planet? I doubt it. And if you are, it's probably gonna be more messed up than you. Before I left Pandora, I was teaching Grace how to shoot, how to track, how to hunt. Yeah, Grace is the ch uh, the little girl we oh, she's a chick, but she's the little girl who we delivered the burger to the last episode. And I was saying that she would probably be really happy. For that burger, and this is pretty cool because you know we delivered the burger to her, and now it turns out that we we're actually a simple delivery boy. It turned out to be a badass vault hunter, and he will show up to her birthday. I think that's pretty cute. You know, she's probably gonna be happy and all. But I not only delivered her questionable source meat burger, I'm gonna assume it was really good, since everybody apparently wants them non-stop. That's why this mission is available all the time. I'm gonna assume it's really good. Wait, I went the wrong way. So let's see how surprised she is that the burger delivery dude. Some quests do alternate depending on which quest you did. Remember that quest in that that awful episode where I died like a million times? In Electricity where you had to fight like a, you had to crash like a wedding and <coughs> The lady who got captured by like the w married couple was Karagawa's sister, and she told you to put a bullet in Karagawa's head. And actually, depending on if you already did that or not, you get different dialogue. So I'm gonna expect I get different dialogue from this too. Just kidding, she's dead. There's no fucking nice birthday party. No, Grace died while I was off on Rest in pepperoni. I hate this planet sometimes. Hello. Just, How's your daughter? Just oh. give her the flowers, okay? I need a minute. You don't deserve this. But here well, I go. good golly. More vault hunters at my Gracie's party. She would be happy, she right? Alive, she'd be filling the sky with bullets and joy. I'll do it for her. Come on over and chat for a moment. I can see how the bullet spreads. What's up? Guess Gracie's death took Mordecai by surprise, but. I keep telling him this ain't a day for mourning. That's not what Grace would have wanted. Grace, yeah, you dumbass. I didn't even play this you in Borderlands 1. See, for example, Mordecai, what fucking personality you would get out of him in Borderlands 1? None. In this game, you get way more because he fucking talks to you as an NPC and not just some dumb playable character. He has awful shoes, by the way. And he's actually more reminiscent of his Borderlands 1 design. Rather than the second one, it seems like he still has his second game outfit Don't underneath. Worry too much about putting down bandits. They'd eat you as soon as look at you. Okay, oh look, a pet skag. It's a thing in this universe. There's so many pet wild animals. Now we've got all the some curious why aren't all the animals pets. How do you tame a skag like this? Do you just simply find a little skag and raise it? Can beat her records, it's yours. <laughs> Eat her record. Oh, then do it. I'll take it. Come on, y'all. Let's eat some damn cake. Y'all. Hello, cake grenades. A cake eating contest. Sorry, force out it. Ooh, nice. This is some good cake. cake like she had a tapeworm. Last year, she scarfed down eleven. Oh, she did have a tapeworm. Man, even you can't do more than that. Oh, this is her little bed. And a little out, I you. <laughs> Looks like someone's coming for your title. Okay, where's more cake? I demand it. Ooh, there's a lot of cake here. Well, look at this the cake takes like go. shit, but I'm gonna beat her record anyway. Trying to break my dead little girl's record? That's 
Oh, I almost got it. I almost beat the record. Oh, one more. Where's more cake? I gotta have it. Oh, I can't fit. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna give up. You know, I haven't given up. So I can't have more cake. Or maybe I can. Yeah. Well, you beat my Gracie's record. I did it. How about that? That bitch is going That's down, dead or not. To give it another go. Embark it. That's a nice start. Not cool. All right, listen up. Oh, he's probably gonna like jump off and kill himself later. Probably already pretty thought about it. Damn it, I don't have grenades. Grace had the best arm and actually have to disable my fucking. Back. Wait, fuck! Stop putting these around. How can I have it disabled? Under in sands. A record's a big old 50 like I never points. even expanded my Good luck beating that, grenade capacity because I never needed it. Alright, wh what do we do? We go for the best ones, right? Hey, hey. Didn't even fit. Looks like our little Bobsy Tenderfoot doesn't want you to beat Grace's score. What the fuck? Do I have some kind of... What happened to me? Consumes up to three grenades and increases damage by 50%. I don't need that. I'm gonna put it away. Either. Like, okay, cool, when I don't use a grenade, it doesn't matter to me, but when I do use grenades, it kinda sucks. Beating the record. Wow, you got guts for days, Fault Hunter. Dead Fault or not, that bitch is going down. Party and going after a record. Then again, Grace never backed down from a challenge. Guts for days. Woof. Woof. Yeah, well, that one backfired. I guess you gotta be Maybe that was a... Uh, Karma for being such a dick. Handy with a grenade to survive these tumultuous times, huh, Vault Hunter? Yeah, like killing Varkids. Like you, yeah, you probably should have done that. Range. No fucking balloons at this party. It's to be a depressing the party, you know that? Your daughter is dead, there's no fun. Well, We're gonna uh, be dead too. Let the games begin. Just kidding, just kidding. kidding. She was good, real good. Would have been even better than me in a few years. I hate this planet sometimes. Yeah, maybe she would become playable and become a hated character. What do I have to do? Uh, you know what? This guy. I'm gonna join in on this one. See how you handle a little competition. I don't have to use a sniper rifle though, right? Mordecai. Oh look, Helios. Are we shooting racks? I'd say even on a console, my aim is pretty good. I think Any maybe just some yet? moments. But sometimes my analog is really weird. Y'all keep it up. You're gonna wipe Grace's record clean off the board. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I hope he dies like kills himself as he calls of me. That'll be dark and actually kind of funny. That Mordecai have you shot one all yet? Ah, oh, he shot some. Well, if anyone was gonna beat it, I guess you'd be glad it was you, Vault Hunter. I guess. Well, where is he anyway? There he is. Pinata. Might as well take a whack at it. Is he even participating? Okay, let's uh, whack a pinata. All that's left is a damn pinata. Might as well take a whack at it. I already said that. You think you're all I did it. Bad coming in here and beating my little girl's record? Well. Damn if that ain't what my Gracie would have done. But I ain't Gracie, and I didn't want her to be a vault hunter. Party's over. Pistol's all yours. Hope it comes in handy out there in the Mesa. Those Varkids are hungry. I'm gonna find a nice perch somewhere and kill every Varkid I see. I hate this planet sometimes. Yeah, me too. Cool, we got a legendary pistol. I wonder what kind of pistol it is. Totally not this one. Not like I already had it. 
No, not only it's this one, but it's like exactly the same. <laughs> I guess it always comes the same. I would not sell it. So it's level 32, 42. Yeah, so we got an exact copy of our pistol. We're gonna use this one. It's, uh, this one's better. This one already been touched and it's diseased. We're gonna use it. No oh, balloons! No balloons. Fun's not allowed on this planet. Especially when I'm around. It's fun, it's not allowed. On the trailer of Borderlands, one of the trailers, you can see Mordecai when he like shows up. He's like side by side with Zane. And they kind of like nod at each other like, Hell yeah, let's do it! So you would think that they would probably become like good friends. Or that probably Zane just already knows him. That's his thing, he just knows everyone already. Which is pretty funny, especially if you would like play this game for the first time, because like, you know, I also know everyone already, but... Let's say someone played this as their first Borderlands game, and they picked Zane, and it turns out Zane just knows everyone and they're not gonna get introduced. Because why bother to introduce a character that's already known? Zane's not gonna say like, oh, this is... Mordecai, that legendary sniper rifle, and the Vault Hunter from like seven years ago or something. Actually, how long time ago happened Borderlands 1 in a uh, timeline? Like ten years ago? Like in the game's universe, not like in the actual life, because in the actual life it did happen ten years ago, but. Well, the first Borderlands I really hated. I really hate Borderlands 1. When it came out, I didn't like it. And I still feel like I don't like it. I never beat it fully. I mean, I beat it, the base game, but by fully, I mean I never beat it with all the DLCs. I still have like one left. Which I'm probably not gonna come back to because it's fucking annoying. But I did want to make a let's play out of Borderlands 1 and all of its DLCs, so I think I'm gonna do it one time. One day I'm gonna do it. And it will be the worst thing to ever fucking happen. Because that game you is pretty boring. I'll be honest with right, you. Should still be it's just like, the moves quests are just Pandora, boring and not interesting, locations are lame. Been out here for a while now, so Even in this game, when you're on the wasteland and you just like you'll, uh, sand everywhere, it's it still it. kinda cool. Like it's a bunch of shit around. The Borderlands 1 is just like trash. Trash here, trash there, just trash all over the damn place. This is a cool side quest. Oh, Homestead. This is a like pretty long one too, because it's like... Even in these times. Come it's not like just one side see. quest, it's more like a side... <laughs> little side plot going on around with this like... Old married couple having issues with the bandits. So, alright, I guess we're gonna finish the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I forget, I gotta equip my drone back. Little drone, come back. Shit, what the fuck? There you go, that's what I meant. Right, so. See you fellas in the next episode, bye.